So I wanted to just tell y'all, because I realize that I keep talking about my digital music and my iPad and air sharing the pedals, um, and I didn't haven't really told y'all what that is. Some of y'all may not understand. Um, so just to tell you briefly, um, all of my music is stored in the iPad, which is here. Um, it's I use an app called um, Fourscore, and the way that works is that I um, scan the music um, either in the computer or I use Genius Scan and then send it to Dropbox and then I retrieve it here. There's nothing to retrieve because everything's in there and then it sorts it by composer, by uh, title, by most recent and I can make set lists. Right now I'm working in my Scotland set list. I don't know if you can see that Scotland. Yes, there you go. Um, and the other thing is you can see, whoops, backwards. Um, I can write on it. I have a C pen because when I write with my finger, it's kind of uh, terrible. Annotate, oh wait, let me, first you have to blow it up, annotate, then you can pick what you want to write with. And you can write, hi, there we go. Oops, erase. So there's that. So you can write all over your music, but it's, it's not permanent. Um, so you can change things, that's cool. And the way the pedals work, this was invented by a friend of mine, Yu Sung. Um, and the way it works is that you press the right pedal and it goes forward and you press the left pedal and it goes backwards. And uh, sometimes I do crazy stuff when I turn it off and I hit the button too long and it unpairs. So then I have to fiddle with it, futz with it, futz, F-U-T-Z, futz with it to make it um, talk to again because it's a Bluetooth connection. So, uh, and this thing lasts forever. Um, the, uh, the battery on it lasts forever. Uh, standby and pedaling. So I think, I don't think I've charged this since November and it's giving me a yellow. So I'm, I'm going to have to charge it tonight. So that's what I mean when I say iPad, pedal, digital music, because otherwise I would have to lug around all my music. Now the only exception to that is I've got a couple of method books that are their um, landscape format so it's you can't get them in there because you'd be looking at it sideways and then the other thing is is that this is Thomas Goss, Goss's uh, Tony's Children and as you can see it's an oversized score. I have it on um, 11 by 17 pages. Um, because the music is just so, there's so much going on. So this I will actually be playing from actual music because it's just too big to fit into this little screen. You can see it's just, no, I need to be able to see it. So, but otherwise I would be carrying around a stack of music like this and it gets very heavy. So this is very cool and it's taking up like a couple of gigs on a 64 gig iPad. Hugh Sung, who invented the air turn, has, um, I think he's got a 16 gig iPad and it's got like almost all of his piano music and piano music is a lot more dense and takes up a lot more room uh, digitally than my stuff. So it's very cool. So that's that.